Hello again, this is Moroni Prime with another video review. This is the fifth in a series I'm doing on the new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line from Bandai. This is a throwback to the 1993 series. The reason these figures are released, so far as I can gather, is that... Ha is that uh, I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say Hasbro. Uh, Bandai and uh, Saban and Disney and whoever else uh, has likely ran out of ideas on how to keep the franchise alive. Uh, due to its waning viewership in recent years. So they figure a little bit of nostalgia might help to revitalize the line a little bit. So without further ado, I introduce you to the Black Power Ranger. Yeah. Same mold as the Red and Blue Rangers, as we've covered in uh, previous reviews, with the exception of the remolded helmet and the Power Axe. Um, he also comes with this gold flight pack bird thing. Has the red LED made out of gold plastic, black stripe on it. You know, the same routine we've been through before. Don't break it. Or if you want to, that's really up to you. But it makes a good figure stand, so you might want to save it anyway. Um, you get a little close up of the helmet here. It does have the mastodon details. Uh, accurately painted. Yellow eyes, silver tusks, and a silver border around the visor. Uh, not too bad. The power axe, sorry, almost broke it there. The power axe is uh, the weapon that uh, the Black Ranger used in uh, mainly season one. I don't recall he ever using it during uh, season two during the Thunderzord era. Uh, or if he did, it was very, very scarce. Uh, this was also the main base for the Power Blaster when it was all combined. Uh, this release, this incarnation of it, does not have any abilities to combine with the other weapons. We've established that previously. Um, it's made out of the soft plastic, as the other weapons are to avoid easily breaking it or deforming it, I guess. Um, although I wouldn't have him hold it like this for any length of time, because that may warp the plastic over time. Um, the other accessory he comes with is, of course, the Blade Blaster, which is the same Blade Blaster we've had with the other Rangers. Still has the peg on the side for the hole in the hip. Not really anything fancy. Uh, let's just put it down down here for now with the axe. Now, uh, one thing I did want to check that I, uh, I did not know about when I was doing the reviews for the Red and Blue Power Rangers is whether or not the heads for the male figures are on the ball joints. They are! What do you know? You saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. The Headless Black Ranger. And now that I've taken his head off, he doesn't want to stand up. So yeah, you can uh, you can basically play musical helmets if you want to have a collection of helmets and sell off the bodies. It's up to you. Uh, maybe you could swap them out for Zordon and put Zordon on the bodies. I don't know. Um, I don't have Zordon yet, but uh, yeah, this is kind of fun. So you can play a little musical helmets if you so choose with the other figures. Although I do notice that uh, with the thicker neck, it doesn't seem to be able to rock to and fro and nod uh, nod yes like the uh, female rangers can do apparently um, still have the metal rivets as seen in the other male rangers on the uh, joints here those are rather distracting uh, as, as we covered though with the female rangers they have the colored plastic as opposed to metal rivets for their joints um, it takes away from the figure a little bit but not that badly one thing I do kind of like, and this happened just out of uh, sheer coincidence, the black shoulder joints that were always distracting on all the other figures are actually a good addition this time around because this is the Black Ranger, as you can tell, so it doesn't take away from the figure. Uh, I don't even notice that they're there, really, and I'm sure you probably don't either unless you look really close in the glare from the light or something. Um, same hole in the back. Same diamonds, same painted belt. Nothing really fancy. Articulation is basically the same. You have the lateral and rotational arm movement. You have the 
hip articulation in any which direction you choose. Uh, the bending of the elbow. The glove rotation, if I can keep my monster's hand out of the way. I apologize for that. Uh, the boot also pivots so you can break his foot, turn around backwards, bend him at the knee. And of course, as we covered, you can swivel the head. The heads for the female rangers, as we just discussed, do have more articulation than the males. But all, all in all, I give this a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's not the best figure, but it's not the worst either. Uh, a really good effort, I think. I, I look forward to seeing the Green Ranger. That'll be my next review, if I can ever find it at the store. Um, yeah, get, get these figures. That Even if you're uh, not really into Power Rangers, they're just... They're fun figures, and they make nice display pieces if you wanted to have some sort of diorama or something. Maybe have the Power Rangers going against Optimus Prime or someone like that. It's hard to say what you'd decide, but they're they're fun for a display at any rate. Uh, I myself typically have them up doing their fancy you know, martial arts poses. You know, like they do whenever they moor for calling those words or whatever. Um... Really, they're, they're just they're they're nice figures. I, I would highly recommend them. As I covered previously, they do retail for uh, I believe it was five sixty eight at Walmart. Might be five eighty six. You probably want to double check me on that one. Um, I reiterate though, if you just want something to display, there is a Walmart exclusive multi pack that comes with a few Rangers and uh, Lord Zed. The articulation and paint applications are a lot worse than these figures. They have no elbows, no knees, etc. That retails for $14.86. It is a Walmart exclusive, but if you're wanting a more poseable figure, you'll have to buy the individual packs like these are that come with these little flight packs. Um, not bad, pretty good for six bucks. I highly recommend it. As I said just a minute ago though, my next review will be on the Green Ranger. So look for that in the weeks to come. Hopefully next week, depending on when Walmart restocks. If not, it'll probably be someone like Zordon. This is Moroni Prime. Talk to you later.